If you sit down and eat a high-fat meal, that fat in that meal has a direct impact upon how your blood flows. Now, I want to show you something here on the screen, and this is very important for you to watch. What we have is we have the blood circulation flowing here very rapidly. And it goes through the blood vessels and the blood cells, they hit and they bounce off each other and they don't stick at all. The way it should be. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's normal circulation. Now, these tapes that you're looking at here are taken from guinea pigs, but we see the same thing in people when we look through the whites of their eyes. Now, when you feed them a diet that has 67% of the calories as fat, then what you see is the circulation sticking together and sludging. And as a result, the blood flow is much decreased to the tissues. And what happens is you actually decrease the amount of oxygen in the blood by about 20%. That looks and like this, rush hour oh, now. This sludging effect lasts for hours. And actually, the blood doesn't return to normal for about 10 to 12 hours. So what happens is somebody sits down and eats a typical American diet, their blood cells stick together, they feel sleepy and sluggish. Well, that's, you know, a day-to-day -day impact. But can you imagine what would happen if you took somebody who had narrowed arteries to their heart or to their brain and you took and you caused the blood to sludge like this? What happens is people get chest pain and they also get little tiny strokes as a result of that. So it's very important that we take and we feed patients who are sick from these diseases a healthy diet. What and that's that a low-fat diet. Well, that's a diet that has lots of rice and potatoes and keeps things like dairy products and meat products and even vegetable oils to a minimum. Otherwise, what happens is you get this sludging of the circulation and a, a serious compromise in the patient's health.